Stop losing your scene collections to Windows reinstalls, computer crashes, things going weird when you update or reinstall OBS. I keep getting comments after comment about people who lose their scene collections, all of their hard work laying out their sources and their alerts and their overlays, and it just going away due to some freak accident. It is not necessary anymore with the plugin we're looking at in today's video. Did you know I only have one user on Twitter enabled for push notifications? That is Exceldro the legendary plugin developer for OBS, because I know when I get that notification, he just dropped something freaking awesome to show you for OBS Studio. I'm Abel's Vox, the stream professor, and today we are looking at the Scene Collection Manager plugin from the one, the only, Exceldro. I mean, who, who else was it gonna be? <laughs> this plugin lets you do exactly as the name implies. It allows you to filter, backup, and restore your scene collections, and it even has an automatic backup button. Let's take a look. So first and foremost, of course, you need to go to the link in the video description and download the plugin. Now, the reason it took me so long to make this video was I was waiting for Exeldro to make the actual plugin files available. Previously, you had to compile OBS with some weird flag in order to get it going. Now we just have installer. So if you're running a portable edition, download the zip, otherwise get the installer, or if you're using a different operating system, you know what to do. Download it and open OBS. So we're going to open up my portable OBS instance here. So here we have OBS Studio running. Go to Tools and scroll all the way down to Scene Collection Manager and click that. And here you have a list of your scene collections in this version of OBS. Now specifically it picks up the ones in my portable edition because I'm running portable edition versus my installed edition. If for whatever reason you're juggling multiple versions of OBS Studio like a madman or woman like I am, then you'll have to run this separately for each of your different installations of OBS. But otherwise, you, you should be fine. There's actually some options and some arrows that you may want to click on, but they are very hard to see in this twitchy theme here. So I'm actually going to boot OBS back to the normal dark theme for the purposes of this video. So if you're having trouble seeing any options, you may have a theme that isn't loading it correctly. So go back to Scene Collection Manager. There we go. So you see here we have plus, minus, uh, play button, and a settings button. So here, if you click on a specific scene collection, you can actually rename it. So that's handy. You can, of course, add or delete your scene collection. So this isn't just a backup tool. Just in case that was confusing, this is not just a backup tool. This is a full manager for your scene collections. So if you find it really annoying to, say, duplicate or add or remove or rename your scene collections by having to click the scene collection menu and then scroll down and click it, and the menu keeps closing and everything like that. This is an all-in-one place that makes it really easy to manage these things, and that is awesome. So here we can, you know, remove some. So for example, there's obviously some in here that I don't need. I don't need the fight clock one anymore, so I can just remove it. I don't need scrap papa. I can remove that, etc. And then of course I can make a new one. I can make a new one. Test. I can go in here to Scene Collection Manager and I can duplicate stream elements. And right, I can go add duplicate. Uh, bloop. And click OK. Now, of course, this does still close it, so I'm going to request from Exceldro that maybe it doesn't or that an option remains for that because that does defeat part of the purpose. But here you can go through, do all these things, and you can actually search for them. So, for example, if you have, if you know the name of the scene collection, you can search for it and get right to it. And if there's a scene collection you want to switch to right now, for whatever reason, there's a button for that too. I, I question the usefulness of this particular feature, but that's fine. So, for example, I can come down here over here to Stream OS and click the play button, and that will switch to that scene collection, which is taking a second to load here. There we go. Now we got the default stream OS scene thing, but that's fine. So all these features are the normal scene collection menu tool. Uh, that's fine. Extra handy way to get more hands on with your scene collections. But what if you want to start backing them up? We've got a tool for that too. Of course, there's this entire second half of the window. I don't know if you noticed called backup here that we're, we're going to use to make a backup. So you have similar buttons. You have add, remove, config, which enables automatic backup and renaming of specific backups. And then you have switch in order to switch to a backup. So for example, you are making backups of specific scene collections. So for example, I have, uh, which one are we on now? We're on stream OS. So I'm on stream OS. I'm going to click plus. I'm going to call this stream OS portable 1-16-22, which is today's date and click. Okay. Now I have a backup of this scene collection. So I can go in here. I can close this window and I can just start deleting scenes. Just delete all the scenes. I'm really mad. I'm just destroying the place. Deleting everything. There's a lot of scenes here because I ran the installer for every version of StreamOS. All right, we're left with two scenes left. 
Now we go back to Tools, Scene Collection Manager. I'm like, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. OBS has crashed because I did too much. My portable instance of OBS is way too messed up. So first recommendation would not be to delete scenes that quickly because I crashed my portable OBS, which doesn't handle a lot of changes. I need to reinstall Windows. That's not the point. So now we go over here. We're like, oh no, we didn't want that to happen. Tools, Scene Collection Manager. Select the stream collect or scene collection that we want to restore. Here is our backup, and we're going to click Switch. It's going to swap out the scene collection we had live with the one that we backed up. And there we go. There is all of the scenes. Then we can go in here, and we can do this for the different scene collections we have. So I can add a new backup for podcast. Jan 16th, 2022. Geometric Madness. Geomad Jan 16, 2022. Athenoscope. Now we got backups for a few of these scenes, but we can also enable auto backup for any particular scene. So this Pokemon HG scene, I can go over here, config and enable automatic backup. And that will automatically back up the scene collection, but we of course want to manually make one first. So Pokemon HG, Jan 16th, 2022, click okay. And of course you have the ability to rename any specific backup as well. I can add a smiley to it if I want. And it's pretty straightforward from there. You can search, you can restore them, you can enable the auto backup here, I can close it. Tools, Scene Collection Manager is still here, is still here. So for the automatic backups, those backups are made every time you switch to that scene collection. That way, every time you switch to a scene collection, if you then mess up that scene collection, you already had a snapshot recorded as soon as you switch to it. That way it's always preserved. So for example, if we switch back over to the desktop here, you can see here I now have two, I have enabled automatic backups for Pokemon HD and Stream OS. And we've started to have more show up. We are currently on Stream OS. If I switch to Pokemon HD, let it load for a second, and then go back to Tools, Scene Collection Manager, we now have a new recorded backup. And the same thing with Stream OS. We currently have two. Switch to Stream OS, go back to Tools, Scene Collection Manager, and now we have three backups. So that is really handy. That way, there's quite literally no real way for you to mess up your scene collections, which is really nice. So my next question was. Where do the backups go? How can you preserve them for the future? Because having it in the tool is really nice, but that doesn't solve all your problems. However, they're actually pretty straightforward to get to. The complicated one is if you have a portable instance of OBS. The four portable instances, which I have right here, it's in your OBS portable folder, config, OBS studio, and then it's under basic and scenes. Now, typically all your scenes are these .json files, and there's already kind of backups of those. But this plugin just makes folders for the specific scenes that you've backed up. So for example, Pokemon HD, it just makes new JSON files in this folder, which OBS will skip in its normal scene collection list, but will allow you to copy them out. So for example, if you go to your scenes folder, you can literally just copy these out to Dropbox or something like that, or to a network drive, a flash drive, whatever, and you have backups of these that you can immediately import into a new instance of OBS or what have you, which is really, really nice. Now for normal OBS studio, this would be under your user folder, app data, roaming, OBS studio, basic, and scenes. And you can see here, I have made some backups of my primary scene collection that I use. And so you can make a shortcut to this folder, that way you can quickly access it to copy these for backups or whatever, but it's right there, ready to go. Don't be caught having lost your scene collections to Windows reinstalls or anything like that ever again. This tool makes it super easy to keep them backed up and there's, there, there's no excuse not to use it. Exceldro makes amazing stuff that hopefully, as time progresses, gets integrated directly into OBS Studio, and this is one such feature. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe. If you're looking for something else to watch, go check out this video on my main channel about the, 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 the craziest, the, just the absolute craziest Minecraft stream layout that I have ever seen in my entire life. Otherwise, remember, be kind, rewind.